Today I'm gonna show you a very simple but eye-catching beautiful ombre cake with rosettes. This is something that I really think that it looks really well finished but as far as execution, it's an easy cake to execute. So you ain't gotta beat the cake boss to do this cake. So basically here I have, you know, regular two-tiered cake. It could be a one-tier cake. It could be a five-tier cake. It's whatever you really got. All I did was take buttercream and colored it different variations of purple. So I went from like a very dark Barney the Dinosaur purple to light, light lilac. So basically what you wanna do is start with a white or a very light purple and then you'll make a bag and then you'll make another bowl a little darker and then you'll add a little more purple a little more purple until you have a beautiful hue of purples and when you see them all lined up next to each other it kind of looks cool so imagine this plow on the side of the cake it's gonna look great let's get started i'm gonna pipe a little rosette around and finish in the middle until you go all the way around so that's one so now we're gonna go up you're going to go in between the rosette so that you don't have any gaps around and around. What we're going to do is move on to another color here and we're going into a little bit of lighter purple and then we're going to go in between and I'm just kind of filling in the space so that you don't see any of the white. You can do it right on a naked cake without even icing it, but then you run the risk of if you don't do all your rosettes perfect, it's not going to be exactly there. Rosettes is actually a really good beginner thing and, and it's good training because when you're doing a border, it's repetition and motion. By doing this, you actually train yourself to get what my dad used to call the hand of the bag. So you know exactly how to twist, how to turn, how to maneuver to make different borders or designs and it's something that makes you a better baker. You know, learning how to pipe and learning bag control and all that is only gonna make you better at what you do. So now we're just gonna come up the tier here. One other trick that I like to do, if you're nervous, you could kind of practice on your spatula here. And basically the good thing about this is if it's not perfect, you wipe it, you refill it. I mean, that's how I learned how to do buttercream flowers, right? Now that we got the darker purples on, we're gonna go to the lighter ones. Bada bing, bada boom. This is a really easy design. It's one of those things that even though it's simple, it's got such a visual payoff. And that's what cake decorating is all about. It's about that little visual payoff. Nice and even, filling all the gaps. And we're off to the last color. I'm gonna give this cake to my daughter, Sophia. She loves the color purple. And I think this is kind of like a newer, trendy design that you know the younger generation really appreciates. And she loves the pipe, so she'll definitely enjoy this cake. And the best part about this cake is I filled it exactly the same way as it is on the outside. So each layer is gonna have the cake with the lighter purple, then to darker, to darker, to darker. So it's gonna kind of match inside out. Huh? You like that? Bada bing, bada boom. That's how you do an ombre cake Hoboken style, baby. This cake is for my daughter, Sophia. And if you wanna see her bake a cake, click on this icon here. Come on, look at this thing. It was simple to do, it's elegant. It feels almost old but new at the same time. And it's one of those things that anybody could do at home. Thank you for checking out Welcome to Cake. Make sure to subscribe to our channel below. Click over there to watch more of my videos. And in the comments section, let us know what you wanna see next. Share it with your friends and familia, and I'll see you next time. Adios, hombre.